Hey everybody, this is Teddy from Alohi, and today I'll be giving you a little demo on how to send a fax online for free using the FaxPlus app on your phone. By following this demo, you will learn how to set up an account on FaxPlus, use the scanner to scan your document, upload a file from your Google Drive, sign your document, add a cover sheet to your fax, and adjust different settings before actually sending a free fax online. And so without further ado, let's dive into it. <laughs> The first thing you should do to start faxing from your phone is to download FaxPlus free app on the App Store or the Play Store. You can search for FaxPlus and click install. Once installed, you can go ahead and open the app and you will need to create an account. You can start by adding your name, your email address, and then you can choose your password. In the next window, you will enter your phone number and click continue. You must then verify your phone number by entering the code sent to you via SMS. This process allows us to ensure the security and privacy of your account. Now, note that by using the Fax Plus free plan, you will be able to send 10 pages for free, but you will not be allocated a fax number to receive fax. You can easily upgrade to a paid plan to unlock this feature. With this information out of the way, let's start sending a fax. So for example, let's say that you want to send a fax to share a request for proposal. Pressing the Send Fax tab at the bottom of your screen, you can start by attaching your file and you have multiple options to choose from. You can use the scanner to photograph a physical document or upload the digital version from your Dropbox or Google Drive. I'll show you both options starting with the scanner. So you can go ahead and press scan with camera and start by taking a picture of your document. The built-in scanner can automatically adjust the frame for you, but you can also do it manually by moving the edges of your picture. And once you're all set, you'll be able to adjust some basic settings for your image. You can increase or decrease the brightness and play around with the contrast. You can also choose to send your document in black and white, or if you send your fax to a fellow Fax Plus user, you can choose to send it over with color. Once happy with your selection, you can press done and the document will be added to your fax. You may also add your document from your drive, so here I'll simply select it from my Google Drive. And as per the scanner, the document will be added to your fax. If you click on your file, you also have the option to sign it by clicking the scribble icon. You can add a check mark or draw your signature to then adjust and place it on your document. You can also add a cover sheet to your fax. See here I'll type the recipient's name. You can write a subject, mark your fax as urgent or confidential, and you can even write a message at the bottom. When you're ready, you can click done and the cover sheet will be added to your fax. Before sending, you also have the option to edit different settings for your fax by clicking the gear icon on the top left corner of your screen. You can, for example, schedule a transmission by selecting a date and time or fax to a human-operated telefax. You can save your settings by clicking save. You may also easily rearrange the order of your pages or delete a file if you need to. You can then add the recipient's fax number. Make sure you input the correct number and that you add the country and area code. Once you're all set, you can simply send your fax by pressing send, and if you want, you can check the status of your fax in the Outbox tab. Well, that was easy. I hope you guys enjoyed this little demo. By now, you should know how to send a free fax online using FaxPlus on your phone. Give us a thumbs up down below if that was helpful information, and click the subscribe button. Thank you very much for watching. I wish you all a great day. Bye now.